It's Monday. It's non-whiskey day, so hopefully you are enjoying, uh, well, you enjoyed the weekend and you're enjoying going back to work. If not, we have the perfect uh, liquor for you to forget about work this week. Uh, if you like what we do, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Currently, I'm in uh, London, England. London, England. London, England. And by the time this video comes out, I will be uh, at the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society, uh, London uh, venue. Uh, we're members of that, and exactly when this this episode pops up at noon, I should be just finishing there, and I'm super excited because I love those places. So I'm wondering, do they got like wheelbarrows you just sit in and they have people push you around and use? No. <laughs> Why would you say that? Um, I do have an episode coming up on the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society, so make sure you look out for that. It's a great opportunity for you guys to be a part of. And then um, I would lost my train of thought. Anywho, let's get on with the show. So this is our Monday episode, and it is probably the most traditional of traditional, traditional liquors out there the jose cuervo traditional tequila my old friend probably everybody's old friend yeah. oh jose and i go way back and i kind of divorced jose for about 25 30 years and now he's back in my life actually other than the advent calendar this will be the first time i've had jose in a long time probably almost 30 years so the Jose Cuervo traditional tequila from the Jose Cuervo um, distillery, it's 40% or 80 proof. No age statement, but it looks like uh, it's a reposado and I think we're losing our lights again. So we're gonna take a small break here and we'll be back and this bottle will be opened and our, Half gone. our blinky light will be better. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Um, we have a temp light up. Our lights are overheating. Uh, just because it's kind of hot, we might turn the AC on between episodes. We are doing quite a few episodes today um, because, like I say, I'm in England right now, so we had to do some extra. So, uh, <laughs> our temp light's blinky too. We have more than one temp light, so we might be coming back again. I think it's like the X-Files. Might be. So Jose Cuervo, 34.99, 40% um, smells. It's a Reposado. It's got that black pepper and agave aroma to yeah, it. Yeah, the sweet agave to mm -hmm. it. It's a typical, um... <coughs> we'll be back. We're back, I think we're possessed because Everything's charged. I don't know. Just a whole new issue going on. Maybe CIA sending some radar signals down. I guess welcome doing. to 2022. Yeah. It's starting to blink, so let's go ahead and get this done. Peppery, agave. Sweetness of agave. Yeah, but it's typical Jose Cuervo. You gave the tequila face. It definitely is like... It doesn't have the bite that I expected. Shot the whole thing. Yeah. It doesn't have the bite that I remember Jose Cuervo having, but I don't know that I did the Reposado. I probably did the Blanco. The or gold. A, yeah, the gold, which is a little harsher. Hmm. I don't know. But it's definitely giving me that rock gut tequila. It's flavor. like, I like like a good margarita. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big shots tequila right i prefer just a good solid margarita and this would be good in a margarita no. it would be in fact it will be because i like like some of the like more expensive the smoother tequilas mm -hmm. they're just for drinking they they don't have that tequila for the um margarita that you Right. associate with the margarita that tequila flavor hopefully this stays at the bar um, because uh, the person who was in charge of bringing tequila for our boxes 
um, accidentally brought two different uh, traditional Reposados from Jose Cuervo. They just, one had a really cool bottle design, so I didn't realize they were different. They were the same. So I donated one of my tequilas for the barrel and he left this one here for us to do the review. Hopefully it gets to stay here since I donated one of mine for the barrel. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe if you just keep giving them tequila when he comes over here. He yeah. Forget. He might. He's got his own tequila bar, so he doesn't need it. And he's got the other one that he took home after we did the barrel with it. So tell us what you think about uh, Jose Cuervo uh, traditional. Uh, most of you that watch this channel have had margaritas. It's probably got Jose in it. Um, that's usually what restaurants use. Uh, but tell us if you've ever shot it or sipped it, had it straight. Tell us what you think. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. It does mean a lot to us. Our growth was really um, wonderful last year and we hope to improve that. And I've set a little bit of uh, kind of goals for the end of this year, 2022. And hopefully we can smash those goals because um, it does mean a lot to us. It means that we're not completely wasting our time. Well, we're not definitely not wasting <laughs> our time. Make sure you check out all of our other videos. Um, we got some cool whiskeys tomorrow and Thursday, a great coffee, and then um, a spectacular, surprising um, cocktail on Friday that uh, really wasn't something that we were expecting to be really that great, and Cody and I actually really enjoyed it. So check that out. Um, as I said, I'm in the UK, so hopefully I'll be coming back with some cool gins and whiskeys for you. Um, we'll see. I don't know. Oh, I'll let you know. But have a great week, and we'll see you tomorrow for whiskey. Cheers. Laters.